Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Kekalon Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 42 YouTube videos covering beginners, intermediate and advanced level concepts of Kekalon Automation. So, from today onwards, I am going to start a new topic called AI Visual Testing by using Catalon Studio. As part of these lessons, I am going to cover in detail how can we perform visual testing by using Catalon Studio and Test Ops integration. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you and please don't forget to like and share the video. So this is our lesson 43 in terms of overall Catalan automation tutorial and this is our lesson 1 in terms of AI visual testing by using Catalan Studio and Testops integration. So let us first understand what is visual testing. So visual testing or visual regression testing is an approach that ensures the quality of the digital experience and product strictly from visual point of view. And then so visual testing checks the visual accuracy of every element that user interact within the application that is being tested. And visual testing ensures that any style or aesthetical issues do not show up when changes are done in software so the application continues to look as designed. So what do you mean by that? So let us understand visual testing with a real time example. Imagine a retail website that frequently gets updated its content like adding new product listings or updating the promotions or changing the layouts. So when a new feature is added such as uh, they may need to add uh, deals of the day banner. So when they add these particular changes the QA team and the development teams must ensure that the newly added changes does not break the existing design. So with this Catalan visual testing, the testing tool compares the screenshots of the current and the previous versions of the website to ensure that the banners aligns correctly without affecting the surrounding elements like product images, buttons, etc. So this method catches visual bugs such as a button shifting out its place or a product image getting resized or stretched and font style changes which does not supposed to change. So all these kind of bugs you can easily identify by using visual testing. By using Catalan for visual testing, the team can quickly identify the defects and these identified bugs can be fixed by developers immediately ensuring that the website looks as designed. So regardless of the software updates. So this is one real time example. Okay. So this is the advantage of visual testing. And then it guarantees the seamless consistent digital experience regardless of device browser platform. So that means by using Catalan Studio, you can perform visual testing on any device, on any browser, in any platform. So, test and validate visually across browsers, devices and platforms. So, for regulated environments and industries, so visual testing can be used to validate that visual or text based compliance requirements continue to be met. Now, let us understand the workflow of your visual testing. How this visual testing works in Catalan Studio. 
so you should have enterprise license of your Catalan studio and then runtime engine and also you should have access to test ops so by using Catalan studio runtime engine and then test ops you can start automating your visual testing so first you need to assign your baseline collection what do you mean by that in test ops you are gonna baseline your screenshots of your pages for each page you are gonna baseline your page layouts and then you will start designing your visual testing by using Catalan studio while designing what you do you are gonna capture the checkpoint screenshots so when you execute your test cases you are going to compare the captured checkpoint screenshots against your baseline collection that gives you your visual test results and then you are going to review those test results by using three different methods you can review and compare your captured screenshots with baseline screenshots either using pixel based or you can also compare by using layout based AI technology or you can also use method called content based AI technology for comparing your test results so once you compare them you might get some bugs so your development team fix those bugs by updating the code of the user interface or you can also update your baseline collections if there are any issues with the baseline right so this is the workflow of your visual testing basically by using test ops you are collecting baseline screenshots for each and every page and then you design your test cases in Catalan studio by capturing runtime screenshots for the checkpoints and then you are going to compare your baseline with the runtime screenshots as a checkpoints while running your scripts and then you can perform comparison by using pixel based layout based and content based which gives you results if the baseline is matching with the runtime screenshots so then let us see how test ops visual testing works so Catalan test ops offers visual testing with three image comparison methods one is pixel based layout based and content based comparison since AI powers the layout based and content based methods test ops visual testing could become an integral part of your visual testing infrastructure if you see here first is pixel based comparison so this method compares the pixel resolution of two images to figure out the fi to figure out the pixel by pixel differences between them so here you can see the left side is your baseline image and right side is your checkpoint image that captured while executing your test case so the advantage of this method is that it is a popular function and easy to understand and implement and implement so this method identifies pixel differences and picks up minor changes that could be trivial or ignorable to the human eyes so it basically captures very very minor changes as well and then layout based comparison so this method identifies and maps the similar zones between baseline and your checkpoint image highlighting the layout differences between the two images and then content based comparison that means it basically compares each and every text fields right 
image text and everything it basically compares the content of your baseline with your checkpoint so these are all the three different methods of visual testing comparison in test ops so hope you all understand what do you mean by visual testing and how can we perform visual testing by using catalan runtime engine and your test ops so from next lesson onwards i can start showing you real time examples and we are going to start automating visual test cases by using catalan studio and test ops so it's going to be very interesting i'm going to give you real time examples and we are going to work on test ops and catalan studio to automate our visual test cases and then we are going to run those visual test cases and then we are going to see all these three methods in test ops pixel based comparison layout based comparison and then content based comparison so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries hope you all understand the concepts that i covered as part of our first lesson introduction to ai visual testing by using catalan studio catalan runtime engine and test ops please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos don't forget to like and share the video thank you